Uh, what's going on, Oaks? It's uh, We Messed Out 2014 here. Oh, wait, that's, I keep getting a mix up. Oh, it's MattyB456. And today we have another Airsoft Collection update video. Uh, so yeah, I got these. For starters, this is new. Uh, we M1911 MEU from Evac. Uh, the suppressor's kind of shitty. I just thought it looked cool. Or maybe put a, a bigger barrel inside at some point. But yeah, it comes straight off. Obviously, and you've got the thread adapter, so it just pops off like that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the one issue is though, um, the little like stickers that go in it. Oh, excuse me, we're missing. That was meh, I guess. Um, and then I got along with that, I got not one, not two, but. Three extra mags, I mean, they were really cheap, they were like, I think, like, between 10 and $20 each, like, versus in South Africa. Not one, not two, but three extra magazines, and they were really cheap, between 10 and $20. Um, so that's, that's like, even with the shipping, that's probably still cheaper than what you pay for them in South Africa, which is, uh, like, 350 450 bucks a piece, which works out to around 30 to $40. So, yeah, that's not bad. And, uh, I'll show you here. I know I made a mistake getting the wrong colors, but it, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not a Milson player or anything. I just play casual. So, like a casual Sunday event, which doesn't really matter. Just get sticky tape for your color put on your arm. But I got, like, some M40 mag pouches and pistol mag pouches, because I only had M4 mag pouches, and I don't have an M4 anymore, so... Yeah, so there will be a review and shooting test. I know I say that a lot for everything, but this one will legit properly be done. It's a really nice gun. I love the sights. 911 MEU Wii Tech. It's kind of weird how this magazine stainless and, well, like, stainless color. I don't know if it's actually stainless, but... Um, and the other ones are, like, coated black. But, yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. Um... So yeah, I want to do some upgrades to this, obviously. Maybe a better hop-up, type ball. And yeah, but um, on to the next thing. Betsy is fixed. Yes. She fires now. I just don't know how long this... I, I didn't have enough cash to get the Rartek trigger housing, which is which is the thing that just breaks all the time with these rifles. But um, I just got the stock replacement WeSec one from Evike, so I guess I could just put some... Uh, epoxy on the NC that will reinforce it and then hopefully not break but she's working it's quite heavy though and I need to get so still I don't really have enough money now to get the the scope mount the low profile one like the Wii one which looks really nice um or a tight ball for you it's got a 9 9 ball I think or Prometheus purple hop up, hop -up bucking uh, EV obviously it's a VR VSR 10 type pop-up bucking or oh, pop-up rubber. I really, really don't know the difference. I'm not that experienced. Um, then it's got a new uh, feeding nozzle. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, new guide guide things like the ones that guide the nozzle through the this thing here. Some CNC ones. They're blue. They look pretty cool. You can't really see them though because they're obviously inside there. Um. Yeah, this gun kicks really nicely. It's a really cool gun. But it has its flaws, obviously, due to WeTech having shoddy quality sometimes. The whole trigger assembly is made out of pot metal. So, um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this update video. Uh, keep an eye out for the reviews. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.